Hi hey everybody. So we'll uh, continue chapter three, and after the the four basic rules, now we see uh, the product and the quotient rule, and these are uh, some of important uh, rules to add uh, to the previous rules and to make sure to know where to apply them. Um, they are uh, simple from the name as the product rule is where you know the functions are multiplied. The quotient rule is where they are divided. Uh, so, but uh, if you, the only thing we need to make sure is we apply the rule correctly and not to make assumptions because this one does not follow uh, the mistake. Uh, let's start with the, what is the mistake uh, is to say, for example, well, if I have two functions multiplied and I need to find their um, derivative, I can just multiply their derivatives, right? And I can give you a simple example to prove that this is not correct. So, all right, so this is uh, uh, not correct. Um, uh, the product rule, uh, and there is a justification to it, but uh, you, don't need, you don't need it. Uh, if you want a justification, I'll give you a different one, just based on uh, using a simple example. Um, but we'll keep it here in notes if somebody wants to see it. Uh, so uh, a simple way, uh, if you have f times g of x, and uh, a simple way to write it is you keep the first one, the first function, you multiply by the derivative of the second one, you add, then you switch them, right? Uh, this is uh, the second one and times the, the derivative of the first one. So that's what the product rule says. So uh, for this example, you have two choices. You can FOIL and use the power rule, or you can keep as it is and use the product rule. All right, so here uh, we, we are gonna use the product rule which means uh, this is F, for example, and this is G. If you want to call this H of X, doesn't matter. Just so you match it with the formula and you see what's going on. So if we can call this for now H and you say, okay, it's F G prime G F prime. So this is how the formula will go. The first F is two X squared minus one. Uh, G prime is uh, this, you write it down. Then you, you do G prime, the power rule, uh, 3X squared and plus three is zero, deriv derivative is zero. And uh, now G is uh, that, uh, the derivative of this one again is 4X minus one derivative is zero. All right, so, uh, so you have to see the 3.1 before. So you need to uh, watch uh, 3.1 before uh, 3.2, right? If you didn't do that, then uh, this may get uh, mixed up. Uh, so once we do that, now uh, we see that we need to distribute these. And you can pause the video until you do it step at a time to see how this works out. And uh, once you distribute, you combine like terms. And um, this is good. Or you factor. If you're asked to factor, you do it. If not, this is uh, all right. That's good. Uh, the quotient rule, same, similar to the product rule, the co quotient rule does not work, uh, you know, again, uh, the mistake, uh, you know, to make assumption that uh, if two functions are divided, then you're doing the derivative is going to be something like this. So that's not correct. Uh, the quotient rule says, uh, well, let's start with the denominator. It's nicely put here, so uh, a nice way uh, of doing it, is the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus, you keep the numerator there, and you multiply by the derivative of uh, denominator, right? So you see, it's G F prime minus F G prime, you switch them. However, it's minus, not uh, like the product rule divide by g squared. So, and if you keep it 
this way uh, it's not bad. So again, we can call this H of X if you want to, and you can call this F and this G. So you say it's G, F prime minus um, F times G prime over G squared. So that's how the, the derivative will, will happen if this is the way uh, it looks, if you want to follow the formula. Then if you call this H of X, when you finish, you say, no, that's F in the beginning, so it's F prime. So the first derivative now, and you can always do this on the side. You can always say uh, the denominator is 2X minus four, so its derivative is two um, times one minus four will be minus zero for the derivative. And f of x, or big F there, um, it's gonna be x, so the derivative is one. So you can do these on the side though. So when you apply them, you just apply them directly. So we, we set it up, we set up a formula. Then we substitute g or denominator derivative of numerator minus and uh, again uh, there uh, the numerator times the derivative of the denominator divided by the denominator square then uh, from there we just uh, open it up and uh, simplify okay so we're going to do in class uh, many examples from the homework, but uh, this number six is worth to do here because uh, it takes the idea that uh, brings this of interest. So if, uh, consider the following x squared uh, divided by x plus five. So we have a function like a rational function. Uh, let's find the derivative of this function. So f prime of x is gonna be um, the derivative of this uh, thing here. And the other way to write it is this way. So we're going to differentiate with respect to x. Uh, it is um, uh, a quotient, so we'll do the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus we keep uh, the numerator right times the derivative of the denominator, which is one divided by x plus five squared uh, 2x times x is 2x squared, uh, 2x times 5 is a 10x minus x squared, um, 2x squared minus x squared is x squared, Oops, there is no x there, all right so this is done uh, or we can factor x and it's x times, if somebody can wants that, they can do that, do x plus 10. Uh, find the slope of the m at an equation of the tangent line uh, to the graph, right? Uh, if you want to find this will help us understand something. When we do the derivative, uh, previously we talked about this, uh, the derivative, we're trying to find a slope of a, a tangent, right? Then, uh, so we, we found it. See, so this is the slope formula uh, of the tangent for this function f of x. So we found uh, that formula right there. So this is the slope of the tangent at any x, right? Any x in which uh, it is defined. Now it's just a little more specific. If we have a point, so if we have a point, let's call this a and this b, if you have a point P, one, one, six, then X is one, which means now you can find the, the slope at that point one by using this formula. 
which will be 11 over 36. So this is the slope of the of that tangent line uh, for this curve at the point one. So uh, let's just say it's something like this, right? Um, or something like this, let's just say that. Then you have a tangent line going, passing that curve at this point, let's say one, right? And so the slope here, we're saying now it's 11 over 36. So this is uh, what's, if you try to understand uh, that the derivative is, is actually that rate of change, it's actually that slope. And uh, when we find the derivative formula, we find a, a formula that represents the slope. And now if you're asked for any point, you can just substitute that point to find the slope at the point. Now the, the, the next step, let's call it uh, uh, C, if you're, if you're asked for the equation. So what is the equation of that tangent line? Well, for the tangent or the equation of a line, you need the slope, which you have, and you need the point, which you have now, right? So you can do y minus y1 equal m times x minus x1. Uh, so y minus, all right, so 11 over 36, and we know x is 1. And uh, for y is one sixth, so eleven thirty six x. We add one sixth to both sides. So we need a, a common denominator, and that's going to give us eleven thirty six x. Uh, minus uh, five over thirty six. All right. So, in a in a summary, if the graph, for example, is like this, right, and this is x equal one. And the value here is one sixth. Uh, we were able to find uh, this tangent line. This is its equation, right? 11 over 36 X minus five over 36. And its slope is 11 over 36. Uh, and so we can find now the, any other point that we are interested in. And this is uh, important because it calculates the, the rate of change. So as the function changes, we can determine how it changes uh, and what rate, whether it's positive, whether it's negative. Okay, thank you. And we'll solve uh, more examples in class.